All right, Jaden, what game are we playing today? Smash Up. Ooh, do you like Smash Up? I do. I like that there's tons of different things that can be happening with the bases and factions and the people you play it with. It's different every time. Well, sweet. Well, what's it all about? Well, it's about trying to get 15 points before your enemies do. Yeah. yeah. So what do we got here? All right. So here we have all the different fa starting factions that you get in Smash Up. There's the aliens, the zombies, the dinosaurs, the wizards, the tricksters, the ninjas, the robots, and the pirates. Sweet. And what do you do with the factions? Well, each faction has its own powers and minions which you use to capture bases. Oh, so show me the bases, I guess. All right. So these are base cards. Each base has different point amounts and breaking points. So every base is its own special thing. Okay. So go ahead and set it up. All right. So how you start is by choosing your factions. And there's a couple ways to do this. One way is to flip all the factions over and have each person randomly choose two factions. Or you can start with one player, they choose a faction, and the next player chooses a faction. Up to four people for the starting factions. And then the fourth person chooses again, then third, then second, then first. So they all have an even chance of getting a good card. Getting what they like. So everybody yeah. gets two factions? Yes. So, for example, I'll choose the tricksters and the aliens. So. Okay. Shuffle these up real quick. You pull out bases randomly depending on how many players there are. You pull out as many bases as there are plus one. As many bases as players there are plus one. Each base is different. This is the breaking point of the base where you score the base. Okay. Below that, the three numbers are the numbers the people who are on the base when the base scores gets. The person with the most minion points as on the base when it scores gets four, next most gets two, after that gets one, and then anyone after that doesn't get anything. Oh, okay. All right. So how do you go about getting your minions on the well, bases? Well, once you have your factions and they're all shuffled up, you draw five cards into your hand. So I got four different tricksters and an alien card. And each card has either action or minion on it. Okay. Actions are cards that you play and it does something. Minions are cards you play on bases to try and break them and score points. So I see the minions have a number on them. Yes. These numbers are how many points the minion has. So if I put this on this base, it, it's originally 19, but now it's too closer to breaking. With this base's power, it's now three closer to breaking because of this base's power. So now it only needs 16 more points till it breaks. And other people can play minions on And other, other people, one. so. Okay, so on your turn, you. So on your turn, you, uh, you can play one action and one minion. Unless you have cards to? say otherwise. You do not have to. Okay. You can elect to not. Okay. So you play, say I'll play an action. This action is hideout. And I play it here. And then I will play my minion over here on the ninja dojo. Then okay. at the after I've played all that and uh, used all the powers on the cards and bases, I draw two more cards. All right. Well, let's take a look further along. All right. So as you can see, this game gets crazy. This is what the game looks like as it's going on. So there's each of the bases with each of the players playing their cards on the bases, getting them closer to scoring. So, I'm, let's say it's my turn. I would play this card, which is my invader, on this. Because I played it, I get one victory point. That is one point for me, and I need 15 to win. Once I play this, that gets the total count of the base up to 19. So the base breaks and we score. So I have five, this person is four, this person is six, and this person is four. This person has the most points, so they get first. I have five, so I'll get the second, which happens to be the most on the Ninja Dojo. And these people tie at four, so they both get the last one. So this is all about manipulating. So you, in this 
base, you didn't want to get first place. You wanted no. second, so you yeah. had to time it right on what to play. And when to play it. And you can play actions that destroy other people's minions on bases. Yes. You've got pirates that will sail to other bases. You've got aliens that will abduct other people's minions. So it's continually just back and forth and crazy. Whew, a lot of crazy powers and yeah. abilities. But that leads to one question. There was something you said you didn't like about the game. What's that? What I don't like is how much you have to read the cards. Unless you're really familiar with this game, every time you draw a card, you have to read, see what each action and minion does. It takes a lot of reading, and you spend a whole lot of time just figuring out what your cards do before you can even think about doing anything. Because you can make plans for actions and all that, and then the guy before you changes yeah. all the minions around and what's on a base, so you have to recalculate when a base is about to break, where you want to move your minions, what actions you want to play. Yeah. So... You think it's a, a crazy a fun game, of, game, but there's a lot. But there's of, a lot of just a lot of reading, a lot of thinking, and, and thinking, and, yeah, and changing it up. So yes, interesting. So overall, then, Jaden, what would you rate Smash Up? I think I would rate Smash Up a four. Okay, and why? Because it's a fun game where it's different every time. There's always something new, but there's the reading and the. the and the recalculating. But as a whole, I think it's a great game. Okay. Thanks, Jaden. All right.